Sometimes we want to combine totally different things, and what seemed to be pure nonsense turns out to be a great idea. How to eat a cake and have it get an unpredictable effect? Watch it in our video. They say eating while walking is unhealthy, but it's also not comfortable anymore. How should you deal with sauce, french fries, and coffee in one hand? My friend has a life hack. Pour sauce out on a coffee cup lid. And dip your french fries in it. Eating french fries with sauce this way is much handier, but there is one problem with it. You can easily dip your nose into the sauce while drinking out of the cup. It's time for an outdoor photo shoot, but all poses have been tried and all trees and bushes have been used as a background a million times. Let's make a creative filter. Take a cardboard tube from a toilet paper roll. Put it to the camera to get a cool frame effect for your photo. Take a James Bond style photo shoot. And use a long tube from plastic wrap or foil. It will create an illusion of your friend being far away. The most difficult thing about this filter is to catch your model in the frame. Shoot new interesting pictures on your phone. If there is a cup of milk, then it's time for Oreo cookies. But today, we will throw a Japanese-themed party. Let's do our hair. And lip makeup. Excellent! Now we may get down to the Ser Oreo Moni. Take an Oreo cookie with chopsticks. Dip it into milk carefully and put it into your mouth. This method works on one condition. You should know how to use chopsticks. This trick doesn't work with Curly Sue. Her cookie falls into the cup. She can't use chopsticks properly. On the other hand, she comes up with a new recipe. The Oreo milkshake is ready. It's no easy thing to make a perfect snowball. Let's make a special device. A snowball maker. Remove the clip from a plastic Christmas ball. Carefully cut it in half. Measure out a rubber band to fit your palm. Attach it to a ball half. Make snow makers for both of your hands. Put them on your gloves. Take some snow and join them to make a perfect snowball. It flies and hits the target. Your snow maker is an excellent winter attribute. I've got socks that don't conform to the usual stereotype. They smell gorgeous. Put cotton pads into little Ziploc bags. Add a few drops of essential oils into each. Zip the bags and prick them with a push pin. Put the smelling bags into your socks. My friend notices an odd thing lying on the shelf. What's this? Socks? On the shelf? Oh! What a sweet fragrance! It must be an air freshener! A sparkler is a magic thing. But the sparks are quite real. Use another hack to protect your hand from a shower of sparks. Prick a hole in the bottom of a big carton cup. Use the blank wire end of the sparkler. Put your hand in and enjoy the sparkling safely. Someone may think I've gotten disguised as Captain Hook. I don't care since I've got a good protection for my hands. I want to take some sugar, but there seems to be only forks available. What's the discrimination? Where are all the spoons? But I know a life hack. We need a plastic fork. Wrap it around with decorative tape. A pretty spoons appeared in a heap of disposable forks. It's breaking news of the cutlery world. A fork's turned into a spoon. And here's my friend taking the only spoon available in the kitchen. I need to calm down after such a huge stress. A handy massager is just what I need. Moreover, it is as easy as ABC to make. We will need an old lint roller. Wrap it with decorative tape. Now we can add dots with hot glue with equal intervals between them. Cover the entire surface. This tool relaxes and gently massages and calms you down. Down. You might as well fall asleep. 
It's time to cheer up, my calm friend. And I have a perfect thing for it. A music box with candies inside. It's a combination of a banjo, a candy box, and a nail file. Take a metal candy box. Paint it using different nail polish colors. So attach a strip of painter's tape to the lid. Paint it with green nail polish from one side and blue from the other. Take the tape off once the polish is dry. Now attach thin stripes to the painted areas. Cover the remaining area with pink nail polish. Fit a nail file. Trace the edge of the lid with a marker. Cut off the excess. Attach the file to the lid. This is the neck of our mini banjo. Pull on colorful rubber bands in the center. These are the strings. The banjo lid fails to impress my friend. The candy box is more interesting to her. I like to file my nails and play on colorful rubber band strings. This is so funny and so unusual. The blue-eyed girl is trying to open a Pepsi can. She asks me to help her as she fails. Will you hold the can, my phone, a notebook, a purse? It seems she's bringing a whole luggage set with her. I can hardly hold everything. Then she takes out wide tape. Why? Is she going to tape her stuff to me? No, she's going to make a can holder. Wrap tape around a bench. Put in a can. Oops, the plan's not been bad, but the can slips through a too wide tape holder. On the other hand, my cup fits perfectly, so I can free my hands. Walking in the dark is not very comfy, especially if you are half awake. You can't see where you're going or what you're stepping on, but there's an awesome life hack. Darkness steps away in front of your flashlight slippers. Take slippers and two small LED flashlights. Make little horizontal cuts. Insert a flashlight so that the power button is under the bow. And fasten with hot glue. Turn the flashlight on by pressing the bow. Put on the flashlight slippers and light up your way. You can see all obstacles on your way with the light of these mini lights. And you can overcome them without any problem. There is nothing to be afraid of with these night slippers, even when you are in the darkest room ever. My friend refuses to eat. All food seems to be boring and bland to her, but we can fix it easily. We call Spoon and Fork Air Forces to help us out. These planes will deliver food to the place of destination at once. We will need wooden spoons and forks. Cut off the top parts of two spoons. Divide the handles into two pieces, a bigger and a smaller one. Hot glue two small pieces closer to the end of a fork. This will be the tail of a plane. Hot glue the longer pieces closer to the beginning of the handle. These are wings. Color the plane with acrylic paints. Decorate a spoon in the same way. Let's prepare a runway and send our edible load right into the mouth. Any meal will turn into a fascinating adventure with these spoons and forks. Dear passengers, please fasten your seatbelts. Our flight will be exciting and nutritious. Slice cheese and sausage. Take all ingredients for a sandwich, cut out a piece of foil, wrap it around a slice of bread, place the hot iron on top. Wait until the bread is toasted. Repeat for another bread slice. Let's assemble a sandwich. Cover it with the foil. Put the iron on top. When the cheese starts melting, remove the iron. Your grilled cheese sandwich is ready. Now you know the main secret of my cooking skills. I like to use the iron for my culinary experiments. My friend wants to taste my original hot sandwich. Here you are. It's delicious and easy to make. Our disagreements fade away as we eat this tasty grilled cheese sandwich. Sitting on the sofa, you have to reach out for your drinks and snacks as the table is far away. If you often find yourself in such a situation, you know what we mean. Your friend gets quickly tired of your constant request to pass you a drink. Take two cans of Pepsi, a cap, and an elastic band. Measure out the appropriate length of elastic. You'll need two pieces to fit the can girth and one piece to fit its height. Put the can to the cap side. Make the necessary cuts. Pass the elastic through the holes. 
sew it down to the wrong side. Repeat for the rest of the elastics. Make the same cap holder on the other side. Be sure they are fastened symmetrically. Make a pipeline. Make a little cut at the end of a drinking straw. Put in another straw to join them. I come back with my awesome cap and put it on my friend's head. Let her sit and drink her Pepsi, busy with her phone. She'll finally leave me alone. And as for me, I've constructed a whole Pepsi line between my cup and my mouth. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the bell so you don't miss any new funny life hacks.